Hey guys, this is Cut Ponies, and I'm here for episode 4 of Life is Strange. I'm super excited for it because the last episode kind of left us on a cliffhanger there. So let's let's do this shit. I guess it's this one. Yeah. Let's play the episode. Dark room. Oh, oh okay. Previously on Life is Strange. Whoa. You don't know who the fuck I am or who you're messing around with. Don't ever touch me again, freak! Let's talk about your superpower. What are you doing here, Max? Stop! Don't come near me! Not now. It won't work. I know this isn't pleasant for any of us. Miss Coffee, please, tell us everything. Hey, it's Thelma and Louise. That's Rachel's bracelet. Why the fuck are you wearing her bracelet? Calm yourself, all right? It was a gift. Max, we have to find Rachel soon. Like you said, it's time to start the search for clues. Welcome to my domain. Let's find what we want and feed it. Max, we better come check out these files. Rachel in the dark room. Over and over. That's it. Listen, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank. Being more than a friend. I can't believe she was banging Frank. Rachel straight up lied to my face. Why didn't she say anything? So who do you most want to blame? My fucking dad, of course. Hello? No, you don't. Do you know what it's like to wait for your father to come home when you're a kid? Ever since he died, my life has been dipped in shit. Chloe, I am awesome. We are awesome. <laughs> Hello, are you even listening, Maxine? This is totally fucked up. What else have I changed? Max Caulfield. Hold on. Chloe, you have a visitor. Life is Strange is a story-based game that features player choice. Consequences of all your in-game actions and decisions will impact the past, present, and future. Choose wisely. Man, shit. <laughs> that would stink so bad. Rotting whale carcasses? Like fucking four of them right there? It's weird hanging out with you again. I know. I'm glad we are, though. It was nice that you sent me actual letters more than any of my other friends have done. And you even wrote on that cool parchment paper. That's so Max, so pretentious. But I love writing on it like an English poet. You deserve the best stationery. 
probably easier to write than to visit me. I don't mean that in a bitchy way. Not totally. You probably wanted to avoid awkward conversations like this. Uh, pretty much. Yeah. Look, the worst thing you can do is treat me like a baby. I still want to laugh and talk shit with my best friend. Can we stop? This is seriously the best view of the sunset. What do photographers call that? The golden hour. See? Without you here, I'd have no clue. Bet you could take some amazing shots. Those beached whales are so sad. I kind of know how they feel. At least, I'm alive here with you. You're a real survivor, Chloe. I know you have to deal with so much. I don't want anybody else feeling sorry for me. I can do that. Along with my parents. My dad still feels guilty about buying me that car. Uh... <laughs> okay, so she's in a car accident. I... Okay. Are you okay to talk about the accident? We never actually have, huh? There's not much to say. Some prick in an SUV cut me off and I flew into a ditch. Do you remember everything? I saw everything in bullet time. I felt my back snap and... and that was the last thing I ever felt in my body. When I woke up in the hospital, I literally couldn't move a muscle. Jesus. I, I, I don't know what to say. Don't say anything. I'm just happy I did get to see you again. I could have ended up vanishing out of the blue like that girl from Blackwell. You mean Rachel? You mean Rachel Amber? When was the last time you talked to her? Uh, never. I just read about her in the news. I didn't even know her name. You did? This is such a different world than when we were kids, isn't it? After that snow and eclipse, it's more like the end of the world. Uh, <laughs> it might be. It might be, but... I like to think we can still change things for the better. I'd like to think that too, but I don't have much hope these days. I know things seem out of control, but as long as we're together, I don't feel afraid. Hanging out with you makes me feel like a total kid again. You don't even know. Listen, Chloe, I'm sorry I haven't been out to see you more. I was wrong. You're my best friend. Max. Thanks for coming out to see me. You're, you're doing awesome. I don't think so. Um, my, my nose is getting cold. Maybe we should get back to my place? It is hella cold out here. Hella? I hate that word, no offense. None taken. Ah, oh, this is so weird. Pretty high tech lair. Feels like a high tech cell. But I am lucky my parents bust their ass to take care of me. I know it's hard for them. They're grateful you are here with them. Right. Especially when they can't even take a walk alone. Sometimes I act like a total teenage brat just to give them an excuse to yell at me. Pathetic, I know. Chloe, you're a great daughter. You're kind and sensitive, when you don't even have to be. Trust me, I still get my rage on. 
Especially when a nurse has to watch while I take a dump so she can wipe my bum. Or when doctors flip me around like I was a science doll. I can't even imagine. But you're still amazing. You always have been since we were kids. Thanks again for coming, Max. I, uh, <clears throat> need to get my drink on. Uh, can you, can you bring me some water? Oh, man, this is so weird. This is so fucking weird. Oh, the snow dough. I guess not everything changed. Snow globes are taking over. Hello, Chloe. <laughs> she likes fluffy animals now. Oh, this is so fucking weird. That's a serious heat lamp. Does Chloe look at the garden and think about her childhood? She can't even feel the grass now. So she's paralyzed from the neck down? At least Chloe doesn't weigh that much. Oh man. She has to use that ventilator just to breathe. Oh my god, I feel like shit. I feel like such an asshole right now. Water. Drink up, Buttercup. Oh man. No wonder my throat is dry. I don't think I've talked this much the whole year. Have you ever thought about doing a podcast or something? I wish I could punch your face right now. A podcast? Dude, I am a pod in a cast. Boring. Ouch. It was just a thought. I know you're just trying to help. <sighs> yeah, that's become a bad habit of mine. For real. You sound like an adult now. It seems like we were kids in another life. What do you remember? What do you remember about us as kids? We all have different memories. I think about us as little pirates running and jumping through Arcadia Bay. Me too. But we're still pirates in our own way. Uh, yeah, right. Check me out, Chloe of the Caribbean. No way will I get on a fucking boat now. Unless you're with me. As you can see, I can't keep all my other friends away. You have me? You have me. I'm not leaving you, Chloe. Well, you didn't visit me a lot, either. I mean, I loved your cards and photos, but... I know I wasn't around much. No excuses, I'm a loser. But I am trying to make things right. How? Dude, you're not Supermax. And I'm not trying to guilt trip you. That's what my parents are for. Uh, are they okay? Are they okay? I mean... Are they so happy together and everything? So now you're Dr. Bill? I guess they're good, considering they have to deal with me. They laugh and hold hands. And I hope they still get busy, too. I think Joyce and William are incredible. Max, the accident has been so hard on them. Our insurance sucks, and the medical bills are fucking insane. Can they pay for them? Can they pay all the bills? No way. They keep the numbers away from me, but it doesn't take much research to find out I'm costing my parents almost a million dollars a year. Holy shit. Oh. You're priceless. Uh, no pun intended. <laughs> you are such a geek. That's why I love you. Of course, I know a geek when I be one. See, I'm practically a human entertainment system. It would be sweet to chill out together and watch a movie like when you'd spend the night at my house. <laughs> What do you want to watch? Uh, I think I'm in like a, a mellow Blade Runner mood. I always cry at the end. Plus, you know, I always wanted to have cool colored bangs like Pris. I know. You would look incredible with blue hair. <sighs> now let's get this show on the road. And you better not fall asleep on me like you always do when you watch movies. I remember, Max. Swear I won't fall asleep. Not when you're here. Not yet. Oh my god, it's so sad. This is so sad. Oh my gosh. That must be her mighty morphine machine. No more box. No more box for her. But medical supplies. 
She has to use a lot of lotions to keep her blood circulating. Oh, this is so sad. Holy shit. Thanks. I uh, think you missed a grain stuck in my eyeball. <laughs> Hard to believe how just a little sand can cause such a big mess. It's like that Chinese proverb. A spark can start a fire that burns the entire prairie. You know, that butterfly thing. Oh my god. <laughs> so I've heard. This <laughs> is... Uh, I don't even know what to say. There's the old Chloe. Uh, wow. Whoa. Chloe can totally control her computer. It's so great people get this high-tech help. That is so incredible. And she can browse cat videos on the web. <laughs> cat videos. Chloe is still a punk at heart. But she can't stage dive anymore. That's so cool that Chloe has made friends online. This is so sad. This is so sad. I should offer to put makeup on for Chloe. Not that I can, but it would be fun. I have no idea how to put on makeup. Man. Joyce and William built a whole new bathroom for Chloe. They're so great. It is so cool that you're here again. Yeah. I'm glad you think so. Is this the garage or used to be garage? Chloe's message board since the accident sure looks lonely. That's super sad. I... It's nice my parents sent a card at least. Chloe, you know we love you and you're in our hearts and thoughts. We hope to see your smiling face soon. I wonder who this is. Kind of a generic card. Dear Chloe, I'm so sorry for what happened. Now that I'm here for you, if you need anything, I hope you feel better, and I hope to see you soon. Megan. I wasn't very available to Chloe. Real nice. Chloe, I just thought I'd drop you a quick note to let you know I'm thinking about you. I feel so lame, writing shit like up your well, etc. I know your life is so different now, and I don't want that to get in the way of our friendship. Yes, I haven't been around lately, but that'll change soon. I hope you're well of Max. At least I sent road trip selfies to Chloe. I'm sure that made her feel great. Uh. Oh, wait, what is Reed? I just did that, didn't I? Yeah. Little chair. I still can't believe I put Chloe in that chair. I can. It is all too real. Very, very sad. Am I putting on a movie or. Oh, drawers. Oh my god, I made that mix for her when we were 12. <laughs> power, power. Ah, oh, here's the DVD. You're really my only friends who kept in touch. I, I should have kept more in touch. Yeah, I feel like shit. DVD. Man, oh man. <laughs> I don't even know what to say. I don't even know this, where this is gonna go. believe you fell asleep so fast how dare you i know you were beat down after the day with me and blade runner is a pretty dreamy movie to watch at night uh, do you do you think deckard is a replicant 
Sorry, I can see you're not wide awake like me. No, I'm sorry I crashed so hard. Were you okay? I do have a mother and father when you're not falling asleep on me. You are a bitch in the morning. It's the company I keep. Yesterday was such a blast. It was great seeing you. I know things were different when we were just dorky kids, but being with you made me feel like when we were little pirates jumping and running through the forests again. It meant a lot to me just to chill out with you and, and bullshit. <sighs> Fuck. Um, I'm getting my regular head pains. Uh, can you pretty please go upstairs and get my, my morphine injector in the bathroom? Morphine injector? It's, uh, it's total Star Trek shit. You can't even see the needle. Seriously, I, I need it. Um, my parents keep the swag upstairs because they think I can't get to it. But you can, Max. Like a pirate, right? I'm on it, Chloe. Where are her parents right now? They need to make sure she's okay. Oh, hey. <laughs> what are we? Paper? Damn. Uh, this is just for Chloe's basic supplies. God, 8,500. Yeah. Bonjour. That's great they finally went to Paris. Oh, I got texts. Oh my god, dude, shut up. Let's read this shit. Max, you busy girl? Avoiding homework as usual. I told you I'd help you out, and you never let me help. Okay, drama, stop. And you helped me by caring. I did try, by the way, I scored that killer bud from you know who. FYI, save me a bowl, gotta bounce TTYL. Come by my room tonight. Max, will be cool, just wanted to make sure since you walked away so fast. Nathan was worried too. Ah, oh, so weird. <laughs> if you wanna talk, hit me up, okay? Love you. Max, if you're mad, just tell me, okay? Silence. So if you wanna talk, my door is open. Love you. A whole new journal. What the fuck? So much to do. I wish I could slow down. Oh, wait. I've never read these. What am I doing? You guys read this. Oh, my God. So many. What does my dad say? Okay. Taylor. Oh, this is weird. Weird. Oh, this is so weird. They gave Chloe their giant expensive HDTV, and they use her shitty tube television. Hello. Let's look at this paper first. They might get their own home taken away because of medical bills. That's terrible. Oh, fuck. Oh, dude. I will talk to you in a second. To think that our destiny is linked to goddamn car keys. Oh, shoot me now. Oh, God. These whales are just a preview of the tornado to come. And the Prescott Foundation? Let's read it. Jesus. Rachel Amber is even missing in this reality. I guess I can't change everything. Wow. There's that. Yep. It's the same graffiti from before. Oh, this is weird. Weird and sad. Choices of food coupon boss. No change to spare anymore. Now it's back to cookies. Oh man, I am dying right now. A little bit on the inside. Mail and flyers. Joyce and William never had a garage sale before. Yeah, well now they have a lot of bills to pay. They're drowning in debt. Just to take care of their daughter. Such bullshit. Hmm. 
Ah, oh, this is so, so not good. All about you, Arcadia Bay, isn't it? What? Oh, Max, it is so nice to have you around. Yeah. That is such a sweet shot of Chloe. I wonder who took the picture. William is trying so hard. He's still awesome. Look at them. They have no idea what's in their future. What the fuck is that? I don't know what that's about. I didn't realize how bad Chloe's entry really was. Oh, man. Okay, hey. Oh, a drawer and an ashtray. It's good for Chloe. Joyce is already a super mom. Huh. Joyce used to hate smokers in the diner. <laughs> Shit's, uh, crazy. Good morning, Max. Oh, you and Chloe are so much quieter now than when you were kids. I remember. It's nice waking up in your house again. Oh, William and I love it. Finally seeing you and Chloe together after all these years. After the accident. Uh, Chloe. I wish I was a better friend. I know Chloe doesn't get many visitors. Oh, Max, you're Chloe's best friend for a reason. You're here exactly when she needs you. Oh god, I hope so. I hope so. You guys do such an amazing job taking care of her. You can only do so much, and she gets damn sick of her parents. <laughs> That's why it's so important you came to spend time with her. Max, Chloe's condition is not improving. Her respiratory system is very weak, and she... Do you know what I'm saying? <sighs> Joyce. I'm so sorry you have to go through all this. Bad or good, I embrace every moment with my daughter and my husband. This is what it means to be a family. And we'll always be one. No matter what. Oh, God. Joyce. How are you doing, Joyce? I'm doing the best I can, Max. I won't lie. It's difficult. Nobody said life was easy here in Arcadia Bay. Uh, David, ah, uh, no, no, she was doing lots of work. Plus, you guys have to work, too. Ah, uh, Bill and I have no time for ourselves. We're working more than we're living. I even had to take a part-time gig at Pan Estates. Ugh. Do you know the Prescotts? I know that Sean Prescott won't be happy until he owns everything in Arcadia Bay. Stay away from his son, Nathan. Yeah, you go havoc. So, what do you think is going on here with all of this eco havoc? Maybe Arcadia Bay just wants to be left alone. I know the feeling. Honestly, I don't give a shit about too much outside our house. I don't blame you, Joyce. Except now we have dead birds and beach whales outside our front door. So maybe I should care, for Chloe's sake. Tell me about David Madsen. Do you know somebody named David Madsen? He, um, might hang out at the two wheels. Well, that was random. Yeah, he's a, a bus driver. He comes in sometimes. Cute, quiet. Why? Oh, um, I, w I was just curious. <laughs> what? You always were. Nice to see that everything doesn't change. Okay, tell me about William. I have to tell you how much I love seeing you and William together again. He's been such a hero through all of this. Chloe and I, we're lucky to have him. Is William still the same? Is William still the same? After everything that's happened? 
for better and for worse, but always for the better. I, I never thought I'd love a man so much I can't imagine life without him. It sounds corny, I know. You rule, Joyce. Shit, things would be different if I did. I like how you think, kid. I better get back to Quillen now. It's good talking with you, Joyce. You too, honey. Uh, oh, God. I know. Things aren't as neat and tidy as they used to be. <laughs> You're telling me. Apparently, the only thing that hasn't changed is this view. It's cool that Chloe uses natural medicine, too. <laughs> Why does that matter right now? Jesus. Uh, the bathroom looks almost the same. Just more medicine. And no cool towels. And birds. Here it is. I never thought I'd be delivering morphine to my best friend. Yeah, for real. Selfie? How's it going, time tripper? It's funny. I think I look older. She really kind of does. Like, definitely can't afford a crazy power bill. Definitely turn that off. I wonder what her room is now. Oh, man. The letter. Too bad Joyce and William can't get any help from the Prescott Foundation. Oh man. That's super shitty. They bought crutches for Chloe. Hoping she might walk again. Oh god, I literally cannot right now. This is so fucking sad. Toys? I kind of want to open this and see what's in here. No, no thank you. Shoes. Chloe always did love stomping around in her boots. I never heard much about William's brother. Uh, it's sad they had to reach out to try and help pay for all the medical expenses. I'm still overwhelmed by this new reality. And I feel so guilty for putting Chloe and her family through this. I could give Chloe the choice of keeping William alive, but that would be cruel. But then I see that they're a family again, and who am I to judge? Yeah, this blows. I really hope I uh, don't have to choose which reality to go with. I guess we stopped growing up together. At least we never had to hide from step douche. <sighs> a blue butterfly? I'm sure this is a total coincidence. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> sure. All right. Guess I'm gonna go talk to William now. Oh. Well, unless the game freezes. And then I'm not gonna talk to anyone. I'm just going to cry. Watch it. It's <laughs>